Well, <laughs> I suppose I did save Eric. Oh, no, you didn't. Huh, what? Yeah! Ah! Ow! Hey everybody and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the live action Vanessa doll from Mattel from The Little Mermaid so let's go. And before we start I'm Jamie and I like to make toy videos here on my channel so make sure you like subscribe and ring the notification bell if you would like to stay tuned for more toy video content. And here is Vanessa. So looking at her packaging, it's pretty basic and straightforward. It's the same playline packaging that they have also used on the Budget Mermaid and the Ariel on Land dolls in her blue dress. And funny enough, on both of their box back panels, it features Scuttle alongside their promo photos. And now let's take her out. Funny enough, Vanessa was the hardest doll for me to hunt out of all of them because originally she was only available on Walmart and she was always out of stock near the location I was shipping her to. So it was a while until I got her. And then of course after I got her from Walmart, Amazon decided to have her as well. So I got some more from Amazon. And ironically, the Amazon one came first. So the doll you're seeing in this video is the one I ordered later from Amazon. And here is Vanessa out of the box, so as usual, before we get into the details, let's take a 360 look at her. First immediate thoughts, she's very pretty, very cute, I love the shade of purple on her, but her hair needs some work. Getting into the details, so we'll start off with her face and hair. So of course, as usual, Mattel nailed the face sculpt. She looks so much like Jessie Alexander. It's very pretty, and I think along with Hallie's sculpt, this is one of the best live action sculpts that they have done. I love the side profile, even the little bridge on her nose. The face paint is also pretty neat. I kind of wish they would have given her a more kind of sassier expression to bring out that Vanessa-ness inside of her. But I guess this little pleasant expression is when she's just pretending to be nice. <laughs> For her hair, she got a nice brown saran hair with some highlights mixed into it. And it's styled in this kind of wavy look, but the wave is not waving that much. So <laughs> I think a restyle is in order in the near future. Moving on to her accessories, so of course she comes with her iconic conch shell necklace, but the interesting thing is it's not movie accurate, because on the Ursula doll, her necklace is movie accurate with all these ridges along the shell, but for Vanessa, it's a different shell altogether, so I'm not sure if it's an old sculpt that they pulled from somewhere, because they have the correct sculpt with Ursula, so it's interesting to see why they didn't just reuse it for Vanessa as well. But I do love that Vanessa's shell is painted a shimmery gold. Moving on to her dress, so she has her now iconic purple dress with the puffy sleeves and the ruffled bodice. It does not have the deep V at the back, but I'm glad she comes with her corset with these painted lines to mimic the darts, I suppose. And the corset is in a different fabric, a shimmery fabric, so that's cool. For her skirt, she have this um, sheer layer on top, which is the same material as her sleeves, and that layer is quite puffy. And underneath, she has a darker main fabric, which is the same material as her bodice. And this layer does not have much fabric, so it does not poof or create folds. And both layers are stitched together on the back. But overall, I'm glad that at least the sheer layer on top has volume so it can create some movement. I just wish that the under layer kind of matched that too. And finally, for her shoes, she got these really sexy black pumps. Um, it's not movie accurate, but I'm not even mad because of how deliciously evil they look for some reason. It's actually nicely sculpted with all these ridge and sole details. She is on a petite Disney princess body and she moves at the neck, the shoulders, and the hips, and that's about it. And here is a comparison between the Ariel on Land doll. So my Ariel on Land doll is already on a made to move petite body, but it's pretty much the same height. And even though Vanessa is on a high heel tippy toe feet, they actually came to about the same height altogether. And here is also a comparison between the Ursula doll herself and um, they're pretty much the same height. And that was my um, one complaint for Ursula because I want her to be giant. Actually, Ursula might even be shorter if not for her hair. 
So overall, I think this is a pretty cool Playline doll. I mean, like, the face sculpt alone is pretty cool for collectors like us, but fabric and quality, I think it was pretty decent for $15. My only complaints for this doll would have been um, keeping the necklace movie accurate since they already have the sculpt, and also her shoes. I know I said that I didn't mind, but I think it would have been still cool to have boots uh, like she had in the movie. I mean, they already have the boot sculpts for Ariel. Um, they didn't even need to tweak it. They could have just painted purple and I would have been really okay with it. But overall, pretty decent, pretty cool for a Playline doll and I definitely recommend. I also got some little extra Vanessas on the way so I could get a custom dress made of her from the movie because her dress in the movie is so pretty, so detailed, so cool. So I would definitely love to have that in doll form. So what are your thoughts on this doll? Have you gotten her? Are you still waiting to get her? Have you seen the movie? Oh my god, I've seen the movie. I saw it four times and I loved every single viewing of it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. You can also check me out on Instagram at Jamie Creates for my toy photography, featuring the Little Mermaid doll collection and more. If you enjoyed this video, you can please thumbs up, like, subscribe and share. It'll really help out my channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching until the very end and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye!